Hi, my name is Jason Hewlett, and this is a review of Eliz Green's Stress Proof Your Life. This book I picked up because I was going to interview Eliz for a podcast, a, an interview, and I thought it would just be so simple. I just glanced through the book and, and get a few notes, and as I read this book, it completely floored me as to how important this is, truly. Uh, I think that everybody's dealing with a lot of stress right now in life in general anyways, but Eliz talks about how and why she wrote this book. She was pregnant with twins back in the year 2000 and had a heart attack while she was at the hospital and she almost died and, and it was all attributed back to her amount of stress that she was under and she talks about how this changed her life in the in the sense that she had to put herself in like a bubble of just her family and what was most important and focus only on that. And then she started to realize how much the stress in life was affecting her anyway. And then she started doing research. And for the last 20 plus years, she's been doing research in order to create this great book. I give it five stars. I think this is an incredible read. I think it's an essential read for anybody. And even just taking this stress proof assessment freaked me out. And I started thinking, gosh, I do have way too much stress in my life. In fact, I even recently took a test uh, for my own health just to figure out what's going on. And, uh, why am I feeling the way I feel? And it's, it comes down to stress. So this is a thick book and it's intimidating. It's a big read. But what's interesting is that she gives us a little way to bypass the whole thing, which I found really helpful. And she calls it the executive summary, and it's at page 241. And so then you can just go through it and check out what you think might work for you in, in order to read uh, the amounts or the parts of the book that might be helpful to you. But then as I started to go through the executive summary, I realized I think I need to read all of it. <laughs> and so I did. I think it's a, it's a powerful thing. Even something as simple as she says, in step two, determine the organization of your stress-free environment. I mean, it, it was interesting to think about all the things that I've been stressed about because of what's around me. And so just little things that I could do right away came right out of this book, whether it was not watching the news in the morning to then have stress upon me throughout the day or being okay with the certain stresses that I need in order to help me work better, which is even looking at my calendar and saying, oh, I don't have as many things lined up as I want to. I'm going to allow that good stress to push me into working. And then I can, uh, instead of, you know, trying to get rid of all stresses, instead just become immune to stress and figure out the best way that I can live with the stresses that are around me and do my best to get rid of the stresses that I don't need, like looking at the news and and thinking negatively about my myself in certain ways. Liz really gets vulnerable here with what she shares as well as all the different studies she's done having been a speaker and, and now a great author. And uh, she speaks all over the world for huge organizations. This is a powerful book. I hope that you'll check it out. And I was, uh, I was really, I was really pleased to read it and say to myself, I actually need to implement each and every piece that I'm reading here and it will help me immediately with my health. I don't want to be another victim of the challenges that so many people are going through. And so stress proof your life. I think Eliz Green has penned a winner. I hope you'll check it out. I think it's a, a wonderful book for anybody looking to relieve some stress and to have a stress-free life. I'm Jason Hewlett. This is a review of Eliz Green's Stress Proof Your Life. Get it.